John. Hey, Rich. So I hear a lot when I'm talking about Siemens PLCs, mm -hmm. especially the S7 1500 PLC. Mm -hmm. I hear this about the situation where you might, I might need a technology CPU or a TCPU, as they call it. Correct. Why? When would I use what I would call a standard CPU versus a technology CPU? Okay, good question. Uh, most applications probably could be done with a standard uh, S7-1500 uh, CPU. When you think technology CPU, uh, you'd be getting into more advanced applications. Um, absolute gearing, camming, um, if you want to follow a actual position of an encoder as opposed to a set point. Uh, those are the types of things that would require a technology CPU. Okay, so okay, so the technology CPU hands, handles those higher end functionalities. Correct. Camming, absolute gearing, you know, following an encoder, things like that. Are you saying that the standard S7-1500 can do motion control applications? Um, you can do positioning applications, speed applications, and relative gearing. Okay, all right. Well, I think that's a little known fact that that you know the S7-1500 PLC, as it, as it stands alone without the technology, that it actually can handle a lot of motion control applications, just not multi-axis. It would be more of a single axis type of approach. Is that a, a correct observation? To a degree, correct. Okay. Uh, yes, okay. as long as it's not outside of the realm of relative gearing. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. Uh, I would say historically, uh, when, when those higher end functionalities have been needed, uh, customers would typically be looking at some motion control. Uh, and they would almost be pairing up potentially some motion with another PLC, uh, maybe combining them, maybe not. Where does the technology sit with regards to uh, some motion? Uh, the technology CPU can do, it, as long as you're on the larger scale, the technology CPU can do just about everything that Simotion can do, except it's programmed all in TIA portal. Uh, Simotion requires a separate package. It's really two two projects that coexist uh, parallel to each other. Yeah, with Simotion we used uh, Scout, right? Correct. The Scout software. Okay. That's correct. All right. Well, that, that's great information because I, I think that that's kind of confusing in the market as to, you know, when I need that T, when I don't need that T. So thanks for the explanation. Sure. Appreciate it. Up until recently, another reason you would have needed some motion would be if you wanted to share information across multiple controllers. Uh, but through firmware updates, that's available in the, in the technology CPU as well. Oh, so we can get those axes counts on a complete system up because we can synchronize across controllers. Nice. Nice. All right. Well, thanks a lot, John. Sure. Yeah. Thanks, Rich. Thank you.